Hey what's up guys today in this video I'll be showing you how to install and apply this screen protector from iVisor AG it's for the iPad Pro 2018 12.9 inch as you can see here and it's the matte version because if you're a student or in general you take notes like I do it's way better to have a matte screen protector for the Apple Pencil and I will just unbox this and install it on this iPad so first things first let's open the packet This is the screen protector, it's silicon, which is better, so you don't have cracks if something happens to your iPad or if you press on it too hard or it hits something sharp or like an edge, the screen protector won't get cracks, so it's better to get the silicon. Here are the steps on how to apply the screen protector. First, we have to clean the screen of the iPad. Second, we peel the screen protector off from its package, then apply it and then push all the air out of the screen. Here they give you this cleaning cloth, I assume. Let's open it and see. Yeah, it's a cleaning cloth. And yeah, one thing I forgot to include about this screen protector that it has a one year warranty. So if anything happens to your screen protector, you can just go to the place you bought it from and tell them the issue. And if it's still under warranty, they will either repair it if it's possible or they can just give you a new one. So I have this iPad with me right now. And I'll just take the case off. First we need to remove the Apple Pencil. Let's put it somewhere here. As you can see here, it's the 2018 version. This screen protector also works for the 2020 version because the screen is the same for both versions. And now we have to clean it. This is the cloth that comes with it. I have this, it's called Wash. It's for cleaning any screen protector, as you can see here. Safe for all screens. It's better to use something original to clean your screen with instead of just soap or water because this iPad is expensive and the screen protector is kind of expensive too so I'll just clean it right now and I'll use the cloth that comes with the screen protector I have also another cloth that I will be using. Make sure there's no dust on the screen so you won't get bubbles when you apply the screen protector. And the best way to apply the screen protector is that you have a lot of lights and in a clean place or room where there is no dust and if you wanna make sure that your screen is 100% clean 
you can also use alcohol just apply a little bit here on the screen close that and get some tissues you can just clean it with soft tissues i think i applied a bit too much that's fine it will just dry make sure you apply a little bit of pressure so i finished cleaning the screen and there's no dust whatsoever now it's time to apply it remove it slowly and now I'll just apply the screen protector first thing you have to remove this here it has a sticker try not to touch the glue on the back of the screen protector and now we have to align it Ooh, be careful The best place to align it with is from the cameras. That's how you apply it. You won't get any bubbles because it's silicone But it's better to clean your screen 100% There it is Now let's actually test this If it feels like paper Because that's the only reason why I bought it And because I don't want fingerprints on the screen No fingerprints whatsoever At all so that's the benefit of having a matte screen protector and if you have an apple pencil and you take notes or do anything with your apple pencil on the screen you will get that paper like feeling because it's matte so let's try it So it actually feels like writing on paper and if you can hear it So yeah, that's it guys, if you saw this video helpful and enjoyed it, please like, subscribe and comment if you have any questions and I will be replying. Thank you for watching, peace out.